effectiveness of 13th Air Force bombing is revealed by capture of Balik Papan, oil port on the East Borneo coast. Balik Papan Harbor, invasion site for Australian 7th Division troops on 1st July. Prime factor in Jap defense plans was Sepingan Airstrip, shown receiving its first Allied plane, a Moratai-based Catalina. Reconstruction of this strip required 11 days due to extensive damage inflicted by 13th Air Force attacks prior to the landings. Australian engineers greet the American flyers. Mangar airstrip, north of Sepingan, was taken after a seven-day battle marked by frequent Jap counterattacks. The enemy retreat began after jungle Air Force planes had neutralized big guns used in defense of the strip. Dual purpose guns, positioned by the Jap to repel invasion, were rendered ineffective by bombing. Holes ripped in armored guard shields show effectiveness of strafing. A Navy model dual purpose gun used against aircraft. Rate of fire, 60 rounds per minute. Range, 44,000 feet. The Jap concentrated anti-aircraft weapons in this sector to defend oil installations surrounding Balik Papan. Blast damage was greatly increased when bombs set storage tanks afire. This is the Pandasari refinery the most heavily defended target in Balik Papan area. Pipelines connecting this plant with oil fields to the north brought in most of Balik Papan's 7,600,000 barrel pre-war capacity. Knocked out of operation by 13th Air Force strikes, this refinery, when repaired, will be an invaluable allied oil source in the forward Pacific areas. <laughs> 